welcome to Cuscale, fresh on Thursdays. It's uh, myself, John, and of course, Handsome Dan. I do believe you get handsomer every day. And because uh, you keep drinking every day. I'm drinking coffee. Uh, no, I'm kidding. What we're drinking is uh, an awesome IPA from Harpoon. And I'm sure a bunch of you out there are going, oh, I know Harpoon IPA. It's, uh, it's a pretty good middle of the road, um, East Coast style IPA. Cheers, my friend. Um, but this is a different recipe to their usual one because they're playing around with a few recipes and they can do that in cast because it's limited production. This IPA is a little bit uh, stronger at 6.64% ABV. He said cheating and looking at the board. Um, and um, I've got to taste this now. It smells so good. Oh yeah, they nailed it with this one. So. Um, Usually our beers that we get here are dry hopped with something, um, usually pelletized hops um, that, we, that the brewers can just drop in in like a tea bag, a giant tea bag, to give it extra flavor. But uh, at Harpoon they're playing around with dry hopping with full cone hops. So it's the actual hop cone dried out and uh, the idea is to get it a more natural, a better, more rounded flavor of the hop oils that are in those hops. Um, the hop they're using in here is Magnum. Not what you think it is, ladies. It's a hop variety. Is it ever? Uh -huh. So it's yes. changed a lot. So we tried it this morning when he first uh, when he first tapped it. And uh, it's definitely changed the, the it, it has. This morning it was also over-carbonated, and I know that. And I also know that it was full cone hops, because I took the lid off the, the top of the uh, cask ridge, which is what, set, what brings it up to the pump. And it blew up in my face, and we got, I got covered in actual hot cones. Um, yes, and it has changed. Well noticed, my friend. You're becoming quite the connoisseur. Yeah, Cheers. I have, I have good well done. Take this out. So, but yeah, I'd say like definitely a more like malty and caramel finish uh, towards the end. But you got that um, melon and grapefruit, which is which the brewer was telling me came from the Magnum box. Not a usual flavor you get from a Magnum, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Not me, I'm just told. I meant Magnum ice creams. <laughs> Right. I'm clearly liking this because I'm going back to the right. back yeah. to the top. It drop. is really good, great, huge full flavor. So come and check one out. So tonight, instead of karaoke, which we usually have, we're actually postponing karaoke till next Thursday. So we have the opener, the opening game of the NFL, Pats and Chiefs. So come check that out. Go Pats! Let's all boo Roger Goodell because he needs it. Um, and before I forget, this is actually a gluten reduced beer. Um, like we had a couple of weeks ago from Aeronaut, it's rapidly becoming a thing, I guess. And um, I would never be able to tell you that it's gluten reduced. Yeah, We've had a lot of gluten reduced beers come through here that were awful. But there's a new um, enzyme process that people are using, which I have no idea. And uh, who have we got playing this weekend? So tomorrow it's actually uh, myself and Chris Ulick. We're doing a oh, impromptu boy. show tomorrow, so oh, it'll be boy. a good time. And then uh, Saturday, even better, Cass Mello. Cass oh, Mello is playing on Saturday. So love Cass. Great, great weekend. So come by, grab a cask, check out Cass, or uh, me and Chris. And, uh, cass on cask, or cask on cask. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure out a way to make that sound good. That's us. Stop talking and cheers. Cheers. Cheers.